If you're a big fan of The Mandalorian like myself, and you haven't had a chance yet to check out The Book of Boba Fett, which isn't based off a book, I'm not sure why it's called that, you only need to watch Chapter 5, really. The rest of it is so far disposable. I recently put out a video talking about the Book of Boba Fett and how the character's kind of a bitch in this series, how it's pretty boring and lackluster all around. Still watchable, but there's also much better shows to watch. So unless you're really into the Star Wars universe still, there's no reason to really watch this. Uh, you have The Mandalorian, which is already a bounty hunter show that's done so much better from the cinematography to the action to the characters. It's just all around far better. So why check out chapter five only of Boba Fett? Well, that doesn't make any sense, Adam. Well, because Boba Fett's not in it. Because Boba Fett's not in it. Initially, I was upset when I went on Twitter and there was spoilers all over the place. And then I realized, oh, these aren't actually spoilers at all. What they said was, Mando was in chapter 5 and I was like come on you spoiled the cameo no 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 chapter 5 of the book of Boba Fett is an entire episode of the Mandalorian post season 2 so it's like a soft introduction to what we're gonna get in season 3 and that just blows my mind I don't think there's ever been a show in the history of TV to do an entire episode on a character from a different show as a lead into their new season that's, I'd say bold, but in this case, kind of stupid and bullshit. Especially if people don't have interest in watching Boba Fett to begin with. Now you're almost forcing people that are fans of that property to go out of their way and watch this one. It's like a cheap way to get more viewers into your show. Now, is it paramount that Mandalorian fans watch this before watching season three? No, not a lot really at the end of the day happens. There, there's, there's, it's a great episode, don't get me wrong. Just, just seeing Mando do his thing is awesome. And the fact that we're getting the fallout from the last episode of season two and what he's doing now, very interesting. There are certainly events that take place in the episode that I could say, okay, well, that's kind of a big deal. But I think they'll be addressed again on the first episode of the actual Mandalorian show. This is more of just an appetizer to get you hungry for that season in case you weren't already. Fun fact, this episode was directed by Bryce Dallas Howard. I don't know if she got a bigger budget because of who she is. But it, the show looked way better than Boba Fett. It uh, had better action, better choreography. Everything about it was enhanced. I don't know what the hell happened. This whole episode is puzzling. It's like they're trying to discredit Boba Fett and be like, look at how much better the Mandalorian is. Look at, we're showing it to you. We're f it's episode five of Boba Fett. The reason for the tie-in is flimsy at best. We know if you've been watching the book of Boba Fett that he's searching for other bounty hunters to join his cause to be a, a mafia boss or something. I don't know, he, he's, a, he's an idiot. Conveniently enough, Mando just touched down on Tatooine to take a look at his plane, see how the ship repairs are going. And the episode ends with Fennec popping up and saying, hey Mando, you want a job for Boba Fett? And Mando's like, Boba? Nah, I'm good fam. I'm gonna go look for my baby friend. And that's it. This chapter of this book doesn't progress the story even a tiny morsel of an amount. It is useless. It's basically done just so that people watch this crap show because of the hype around Mando being in it. That, that's the only reason I can think of. The takeaway here is it's more interesting to watch Pedro Pascal repair a ship for 45 minutes than it is to watch Boba do anything in his show. We learn more about the history of the Dark Saber. We get a good one on seven fight. We get a good one on one duel. We get deeper into that Mandalorian lore, which is really, really silly. Uh, they, they got some weird traditions. And they're, they're gonna stick to it steadfast, even if there's only like three of them left. Had Mando decided he was gonna join Boba Fett's cause, the rest of the season would be far more intriguing. I, I, I was thinking, okay, this, this just sped up. This was the perfect time right at the midpoint. But no, he said no and he left. <laughs> what? What do I have to look forward to now? I don't even know what the stakes are. There's no overarching plot. Is it overarching? No, overarching plot. He's just chilling on his throne, making moves, making plays. It's not interesting. We need more. So there you have it, Mandalorian fans. If you haven't watched the Book of Boba Fett, just go to chapter five. This is the way. Thanks for watching the video. Give it a like if you want to. Subscribe if you haven't. I put out content each and every week here, and hopefully I'll see you around.
Wow. Since you made it this far, I should also encourage you to hit the notification bell so that these show up right in your feed. More often than not, and this is a true story, brace yourself for some tears, people subscribe to this channel and they don't hit the notification bell. So what happens is nothing. They don't see these videos show up and they forget over time that they even subscribed here at all. It's, it's heartbreaking stuff for everyone involved. That bell is critical to getting these videos into your feed, showing up, ready for you to digest. So again, I implore you, hit the bell and I'll see you around.